Hey everyone, welcome back to Walt and Sarah's channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be making a screen print confetti or screen print sparkles. Um, I don't know, sprinkles. I don't care what you want to call it. We're making those little pieces of screen print that you see people will spread around their image after they sublimate it or screen print it. And this just adds a little extra oomph to it. Uh, like I said, it kind of looks like confetti. Uh, so this is how you do it. If you have some old screen prints sitting around your house or ones maybe you got in a mystery pack you're not crazy about or like this bad boy, there was actually a spelling error on here. Dun, dun, dun. So um, instead of wasting all of the copies that we have, I'm going to make some screen print confetti. And um, then we have this one, which I actually really love the screen print, but I need the purple from it. So... I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So this one I'm trying to do black, green, and purple because we're going to do like a little Halloween shirt and I will show you the finished project when we're done. So I have seen other people use an, uh, an X-Acto knife or some kind of razor blade to get this stuff off. Me personally, I'm not going to risk my fingers. They're very important. So I'm just using an old gift card. I've used even just a thin aluminum card before and it definitely works fine. Unfortunately, right now my hand is blocking what's going on, but all I'm doing is scraping this off. So this has mostly black and a little bit of green in it, but it really is as simple as just taking off the screen and all you're doing is pushing it up and you'll see I'm getting some pretty large chunks but that's okay, we're gonna take care of that problem after we get most of this off. I don't need a lot, I'm only making one shirt with it. Probably for my daughter, I usually make shirts for the kids when I don't have any orders on Macari. So I'm probably just gonna make one for one of the kids. I already have the design in mind, so be working on that next. But you see I'm getting a lot of the green up. It's pretty big. It's not what we're looking for. It's not the finished product. But instead of you guys sitting here watching me scrape all this off, that's pretty much how you get it started. All you do is you take your card, rub it against the bottom here, and push, push, push. All right, so I will be back as soon as I get some more of this off. So now I have a large amount of the screen print off of here of the black and green, mostly green. I really want to get more of the green color off. I'm going to take this mason jar here. Unfortunately, you can't see the whole thing. And yes, my lovely children have colored on it. That's okay. So I'm just going to take my paper and pour it in. This reminds me of like the school projects with the glue and the glitter where you got to try to keep it all on the paper and then... Use your paper plate to put the glitter back because the you know, teacher wants to save as much as possible for the next project. So again, in here is green and black. I'm going to get some purple to add to our collection here. So here comes a, another fun part. We have our screen print scraps in our jar here. Now, they are way too big to press on anything. Plus, we still have some of the design from the actual screen print. One was a tree, the other one was some letters, and you can kind of see that in there. So, I'm going to take my scissors, just regular scissors, and I'm going to chop them up. Hopefully, the noise isn't too much for you guys, but all I'm doing is just going like this snipping all the pieces until they get very very small I will be back once I'm finished cutting my little pieces up all right lovelies we are back I shredded up as much as I want I could have kept going but I like that size it's pretty small this is this part is all about preference if you want it to be smaller then you have to keep on shredding if you're okay with bigger chunks then leave it be I'm okay with this size. I think it's going to look pretty cool. So now all I'm doing is waiting for my heat press to heat up. I'm going to show you guys how to actually apply your screen print confetti onto your shirt. So be right back again. All right, here we go. We are about to press our shirt. What I have here is 
my sublimation image, I have my parchment paper for protection, and now I'm just pressing my shirt. This is just sublimation. Nothing fancy. It's not the confetti sprinkles, whatever you want to call it. This is just pressing an image onto this sweatshirt. I know I said I was going to do something for the kids, but I decided this time I'm just going to do a sweatshirt. It was honestly the closest thing to my little workshop here. So I just ran out in the other room, grabbed it and said, you know what? This might look good. So let's give it a try. All right. All that talking. We only have six seconds left and it's going to start beeping. All right. I'm going to shut that off. That would have been dumb. So now I'm just going to reveal what I pressed. It is hot, hot, hot. This hoodie is 50% polyester, 50% cotton. So you're going to notice it's not super bright, but it is bright enough, especially for a Halloween image. I'm happy with it. I'm just going to pull it up so I can show you guys what we came up with. The picture I use it is Hocus Pocus, a fan favorite, right? Everybody loves Hocus Pocus. And they have a new movie coming out, so... Oh, I'm pretty excited about that. Childhood all over again. All right, so I'm going to get set up now for our screen print confetti. This is going right back on there. I only took it off to show you guys. And on the flip side, I need to turn down my temperature to 325. So I'm going to pause it just because the beeping is going to be very loud. So I'm going to pause the video real quick, drop it down to 325, and then come right back. Okay, so, and just to be completely consistent, I did also change the time. Instead of sitting here counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I decided let's just let the heat press do the work for us. So again, I have my hoodie down. I have the image that I'm going to be putting some confetti around it. I have it there. It's all ready to go, minus the actual confetti. So I transferred that into this cute little container. And again, we have our purple, black, and green inside of here. Now this part is totally artistic. You get to select where you wanna put your fun confetti pieces. Um, I just like a little bit. I usually just do like a frame, kind of just go around my image a little bit because I don't want it to be overwhelming. I don't want it to take away from the actual photo, but I do wanna give it a little bit of character. And also a little bit of a texture too, because you remember screen prints have that texture feel where your sublimation is very smooth and has no texture. So I'm just spreading it around. I don't want any on my photo. I don't want any on the ladies there. So I'm kind of pushing it around. It does move very easy. And if you put way, way too much and you need to remove it, just grab a lint roller or double-sided tape or something. And that should just suck it right up. Or pick it right up, I should say, right? I'm not using a vacuum. All right, so now we're going to press in our screen print confetti. Now, pro tip, pro tip. I would use a separate sheet of parchment paper. Get a new sheet out. And the reason is sometimes your image, your sublimation image, will be left over on your parchment paper. And I don't actually see any on this paper, but the last time I made this shirt, I actually had to redo it, or I'm sorry, different shirt, but same thing, confetti. I had to redo it because the sublimation ink was still on the parchment paper, and then it ended up giving me a very ghosted image because it was somewhere else where I did not want it. So pro tip, grab out another piece of parchment paper. It's gonna save yourself that possibility of ruining your image. And I'm also gonna turn my pressure to a medium high pressure because it is a screen print and we do need to still push it into our material. It's not like sublimation where the heat is doing all the work. This time we need a little bit of pressure to get our stuff on there. And that's too much pressure. Oh my goodness, hold on. Got a little carried away there. Nah, it's not. It's gonna work for only four seconds. I might as well just hold it even though it's not the right way to do it. Okay, well, the struggle was real there, but it's going to work. It's going to do what I need it to do. Okay, guys. 
So here's a little bit. Here's my first round of confetti. As you can see above the picture, there is a little bit here. Now I'm going to be adding some elsewhere on the hoodie. I'm not really sure where, where it would look good. Definitely on the sides. I'm going to have to put some on the sides. And maybe down at the pocket. The pocket might look cool too. So I'm going to add some more because it still looks pretty clean in my opinion. So I'm going to add some more and then show you guys the finished product. Here it is, the finished product. So this is an extra large 50% cotton, 50% polyester jerseys brand hoodie. Like I said, I added a little bit of the confetti down at the pocket. It just gives it that little bit of extra character, especially if you like the bleached look. You're going to like that, you know, poof, confetti style, random unique every hoodie every shirt will be different this one's really nice it has like a fleece lining on the inside and i think it's good enough to post on makari i'll have to get walt's opinion when he gets home but i'm pretty sure if you're interested in this it will be on our makari page thank you guys so much for watching don't forget if you have any questions at all please put them in the comments and i will get back to you as soon as i see them good luck everybody